Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics with me, Zeklos Desert. The Sandrat Siege. Oh yeah, and this battle will be dividing into two groups. So... I guess we'll put, uh... No, you know what? We're gonna put Eurydice with uh, Ramza. It's gonna be the Get Daved and Y Caliber show on the other one. Even though this is not the ideal pairing, we have two kind of healers in the one group. And uh, actually, I think Y Caliber has items as a secondary ability, so we can use potions in both groups. Ramza has chant, which can transfer some hit points. The Order of the Northern Sky, or the Knights of the Northern Sky, is coming for you. Good idea. Oh, we've got the Renegades here. That's cool, or they just threw in the little stutter. It makes him look more afraid. Oh my. Ramos, that's kind of dark. Now aside from the fact that they don't have magic, they're actually pretty well suited to fortify this location. In a perfect world, we'd pull them out to us, and then take over the house for ourselves. Or you know, Argith, you can just keep doing that and throw your pebbles. Worst case scenario, we get a huge bottleneck right at the door, which could be several bodies thick. Yeah, we want them to keep doing stuff like that. Um, could use focus to increase his strength, but I think we'll focus on speed for now. It's a 16% bonus right there. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have any super powerful moves. Like Wave Fist or something. Uh, okay, I don't really want to move too far closer than that. Because uh, Algus is probably just going to move out of the way shortly thereafter. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Sorry about the sound effects, everybody. <laughs> In various versions of the game, the quality... It has various types or amounts of quality. I'll just put it that way. There's no concept of magic defense or any real defense in this game. Hit points is the only real asset. Uh, I guess for magic defense you could have low faith. That generally equates to the same thing. Content to just keep pumping up his own HP. That's not for a chemist to do. So, we'll make a job. Wait. I take it back. can't really do anything too productive quite yet. We could lower Algus's strength. But I'm just gonna have him wait there. I'm sure Algus is gonna bail any minute now. 
Unless we can get a kill, I'm probably not going to commit to this attack. Except we might get our turn before him. There's a pretty good chance that we'll end up casting Protect on him, though. Well, I've already committed to move, I guess. I thought I was playing Tactics over for a minute. Well, hopefully it misses him. Oh, interesting. If it were Cure, I think it would have hit that enemy. But uh, Cure has a greater tolerance for height discrepancies. Yep, there he goes. We've still got the Monk to protect the Mage, though. Gonna lob an arrow over at me? Yeah. Well, might as well load up the power again. We have one magical spot that we can hit with magical damage. I think this should work out quite nicely. So we're targeting the tile. Hopefully no one moves, but they can't because they're all too low on their charge gauge. The fact that there's two kills in no way contributes, you just get the experience the best possible result you get once. So, what we did is actually a good way to miss out on some, some JP. Oh dear. I don't know who Etgar is, but... I think we're gonna have to do this. We can't let them get in. And we're probably gonna lose Eurydice soon. She's gonna have other places to be. And we're just gonna bait him. Hopefully the archer will go after Ramza even though it is a vastly inferior decision to just kill and get Dave. I won't lose you like I lost get Dave the first. I'm gonna just check white magic. Nope. I don't know who Kurtz is. I could find out easily enough, but... Even if we could have healed him for 50 hit points. I'm happy with what we did. Thanks, Algus. Lobbing? To hit the chemist. I didn't think them capable of such a shot. brings the pain, but we should be okay. This one's going along pretty smoothly, actually. The mage really helped out. It's a fine display of when a mage is uh, the perfect unit. There we are. And, yeah. Okay, I didn't know if Delita would be able to reach him or not, but... Ooh! Alright, probably not going to be able to kill him with uh, Get Dave, so... You can always rend my caliber's power. Or, you know, fail to try. Fail trying, pardon me. Probably would have been a better idea to use white magic there. Wouldn't have consumed an item, but we're getting into very particular optimization stuff. It's fine. And we might as well turn on each other. Uh, 
I don't see how anyone but Ramza or or Delita gets the kill. Pardon me. You're done, son. But he got a job level up first. That's always nice. Do we have Rush? No. I want to try to give him an inglorious death. Dang it! <laughs> I knew that would happen. Well... A very minor benefit to Delita and everyone else. Everybody else probably got a single JP out of that. I don't know, I think that went pretty quickly. You just killed six men, Ramza. There's a lot of blood on his hands. The blind knife is marginally better than the mithril knife. It can inflict, inflict the blind status ailment. Oh. Split in the ranks is, uh, resolved. Taking a hostage for real this time. to abduct. I think we could jump him. Like now. Now he is in trouble. There's three of us. Also, later on we'll discover the uh, Marquis is actually kind of tough. I don't know if he could take Wyagraph, but uh, he's, he's no slouch. Hargith wants to pick a fight with anyone. There's uh, a certain clarity with how Delita sees the world right now. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I think I'll end this here. Well, I'm just gonna state save. I don't want to get into any attacks, uh, any random encounters. So let's let's tack this on. Good. Your younger brother kind of told us to, and he's technically our boss. Oh, come on, Delita. Interesting. Delete is willing to lie to protect his friend, though. Is it nobility? We know in the future he'll abduct the princess. <laughs> oh, 
older siblings. Wow. Did not see him there. Boys will be boys. Yeah, we need to learn integrity, Dysodarg. Got a promotion, everybody. Oh, interesting. So, why would they order the kidnapping of the Marquis? Just looking to eliminate him as a political rival? And now they have him as an ally instead? Yeah, Dysodarg is the politician of the family, so he's got uh, the capacity to scheme, let's just put it that way. Um, one note, so at the time we're flashing back to you in all of chapter one, because recall this is all just a flashback of Ramza giving the recollection to Agrius of how he knows, knows him. Or I guess it's kind of being told to us for the audience's benefit by... Uh, uh, Arslan, the historian at the very beginning. Anyway, the important thing is, at this time, during the story, the king of Ivalice is about to die, and the heir to the throne, actually I can look it up, is extremely young. Like two. Yay, no casualties. Prince Orinus. Age one, there we go. That's the heir to the throne, and the king is about to die. There we go. Oops. Freyho weak-willed and generally ill-suited to his position. So... Once he's dead, the question is, who's going to take care of things while well, Arenas is a young boy? Uh, the queen is competent. Um, we don't see much of her, but she's competent. And then there's two dukes who are kind of, let's just say, well positioned to take advantage of this situation. Uh, one kind of loyal to the queen and one kind of... I mean, whatever. They're all in it for themselves. If you can learn one thing from this story, uh, people really like taking care of themselves would probably be the theme. Anyway, in the next one, we'll raid the brigand's den. I'll see you there.